Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a closer look at the pocket operation. Now, in previous examples, we've always performed closed pocket machining. In this example, we are going to execute an open pocket machine operation. What we're going to do is we're going to machine this area right here. We're going to have the tool start outside the shape, machine this area, and also account for this boss that's right here. All right, so let's get started. We're going to head over to the main toolbar. We're going to left click on stock tool paths. Let's left click on our pocketing. Here's our selection dialog box. I want to make sure I have pick manually uh, selected here because I don't want to select everything on the screen. I want to manually select my shapes or my boundaries. I'm going to click OK. And it doesn't matter the order in which you select the boundaries. I'm just left hand mouse clicking. But what is important is that those boundaries are at the same Z level. And you can see those definitely are. Now with our boundaries selected, we're going to right hand mouse click. And here's our first dialog box where we have our select tool. I've already manually defined a one inch diameter end mill. I'm going to say our turret position and speeds and feeds look good. So we'll click next. Here's our rapid plane set to half inch. That looks good. Our plunge clearance, that's where the tool is going to start to feed down and set at 50 thousandths. Our final Z depth, I know minus 200 thousandths isn't correct. So I'm going to use the pick Z command. The pick Z is going to temporarily hide the dialog box. I now can take my cursor and I can snap any vertice at the Z level I want to machine at. And one CNC will extrapolate that Z depth and put it right in there for us. That looks good. And that works on wireframe geometry, solid model surfaces, and so on. As long as you're grabbing a vertice, we're in good shape. All that looks good, so we'll click Next. So now we're going to use High Speed Open. Previously, we've used the High Speed Close. We'll go with High Speed Open. Notice how the tool is going to start outside the, the boundary. That's exactly what we want. Uh, toolpath style, plunge, that's okay because remember we're starting outside the boundary so it's okay to plunge in here. We'll click next. There's our step over. I have that set at 65 percent of the tool diameter. Our rough depths are at 300 thousandths. I'm going to leave 10 thousandths on the side of the part. All that looks great. I do not want an extra finish pass uh, for this example so I'll leave this set to none. And there we go. There is our open pocket operation. And you'll notice how it starts outside the shape here, works its way around. It is accounting for the boss, and it's removing all that material along the top. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.